Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Veronica night something. I ha actually have no idea if I'm posting this video tonight or tomorrow or the next day. But this is going to be my first ever project pan, plan to pan video. I've never gone on this journey before, but like I've said in my past couple of videos, I am planning on doing a low buy slash no buy for 2023. And along with that, there are several products in my collection that I can really see myself finishing completely, or I would like to pan it, at least hit pan on these products by the end of next year. Also in this video, I plan on talking a little bit more about what my no buy slash low buy is going to look like. And I have three products that I am going to allow myself to purchase in 2023. So I'm going to start with some base products like sunscreens, primers, all of that. The first one is my Smashbox Primerizer. Hopefully you can kind of see where I'm at. I have got about this much product left. I feel like this is one of those products that I could totally kind of like mix in with my foundations. I just really would love to finish this up finally. It's one of those products that I did enjoy. I love the idea of it being like a primer plus moisturizer. I love the texture of it, but it's just one of those products that have sat in my collection for a really long time, kind of going a little bit unnoticed. So I would like to finish that this year. Another primer I would like to finish up is my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I feel like I could definitely do that. I don't have that much product left in this tube. I feel like the amount of product you get in this tube is really not that much. It's under an ounce, which is not very typical. I still have a decent amount of my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but to finish this one up, I'm going to try and use this one instead of my Hydro Grip just so I can use it up and then just like focus on my Hydro Grip after that. And then moving on to SPFs, I think it's finally time for me to finish my Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30. I really thought I was going to finish this way sooner, but I just tried out a lot of new sunscreens this year and I ended up putting this one kind of on the back burner. I do really like it, um, but I've discovered definitely other sunscreens that I like probably better than this one. And considering this is only SPF 30, like that's not unique. There are just other sunscreens I like better. I definitely can finish this up. I really just need to focus on using it. This one is only a matter of time before I finish it up. I would love to eventually repurchase it. I'm not going to prioritize repurchasing it in 2023, but um, I've completely forgot to say the name. This is the Milani SPF BFF SPF 30 primer. Yeah, I'm not going to prioritize repurchasing this product only because I have way more SPFs to use before I think about purchasing another, but this is definitely going to be a product I eventually repurchase in my life. And last for these kind of more base products, SPFs, I have the Say Sun Visor Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sheer Moisturizer. I really hope to at least get very close to finishing up this product. I can see maybe not having it completely finished, but I'm actually reading the expiration date on the back of this right now, and it expires January 2024. So hopefully I actually can finish this up before it technically expires. I'm sure we all use expired makeup. I absolutely 100% use expired makeup. It would be really cool to finish this actually fully before the expiration date. These two are going to be a little bit more ambitious for me. I just hope to at least be pretty close to finishing up my Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. And I just actually finished up my 2022 favorites, like filming that. And this was a 2022 favorite of mine. And I talked about how this will 100% be a repurchase product for me, but I do hope to eventually finish this up. I feel like it's absolutely possible. And hopefully I get really close in 2023, if not, actually finish it. It actually says it expires in August of 2023 on the back of this product. I just read it. I guess a lot of these have expiration dates. I don't know. I don't read them. But the other product I have, this one is old. It's 100% expired. I'm sure of it. But I really would like to make my way through the It Cosmetics CC Cream SPF 50. This is in medium tan. It's a little deep for me right now. I'll have to wait till the summertime to try and make a dent in this. And I did try and do that this year as well, but I really did not, I don't know, I feel like I didn't really attempt, I, li I like this product too, I like it a lot. Compared to the Tower 28 one, I just think 
the Tower 28 one is better quality, probably. I mean, I know the ingredients are better, but still, I would love to at least get pretty close to finishing up my It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I could also mix it in with some products that are too light for me. We'll see. I'd like to attempt. I would like to fully see this product be gone, like scraping the tube, have it completely finished. I'm so close. I don't know if you can tell, but I can be very close to finishing up this product. I already use it all the time. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I just adore it and I would love to see this be, I think, like my first concealer I ever, ever finish. I can see myself finishing that up in just a few months. Lastly for concealer, I would like to see myself make a dent in these and then feel comfortable maybe chucking them. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer. I wore a little bit of it today. I feel like I am about halfway through with this concealer, just what I can tell from the bottle. But I wore it today. Lately, I haven't really been loving this concealer or my Fenty Beauty one. I don't know, I've just been using so many other concealer formulas that I like a little bit better than these. My preferences on concealers have changed a little bit, but I would still like to keep using these and get a little bit closer to finishing them up. We'll see how I do, but mainly my intentions are to completely finish up my Kosas Revealer Concealer, and then these would just be really nice to like work my way through them a bit more. My Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Bronzer in Macchiato. I just filmed a video where I cleaned a bunch of my like dirtiest makeup products, my dirtiest cream makeup products. And in that video, I actually talked in depth about like my no buy slash low buy, why I'm doing that, my kind of desire to take my channel in a different direction and just like kind of explain all of that in that video. Check out that video if you haven't already. I really am a big fan of just that video overall. I'm really proud of it and I loved what I did in that video, which was just like clean all my makeup. I did that with the intentions of wanting to take better care of my products moving forward. But as you can see, this bronzer is already panned. I would love to see myself actually finish this bronzer in 2023. I will really make an effort to really finish this up. My Tower 28 Bronzino in Best Coast. I would love to just hit pan on it. I feel like I could be close. I don't know if I would actually finish the bronzer, but I would love to see myself hit pan on it. I have a couple of brow products I would love to finish. My e.l.f. Brow Lift. I could maybe see myself just maybe hitting pan on this product. It's going to be hard to see, but I've already gone through quite a bit of it and... This I think is new to me this year, but this would be really cool to even use up completely if I can, but at least hit pan on this product. I have two Kosas Airbrows. The reason for that is because I lost one of them, so I opened up a new one. One of them is like really... Okay, yes, it's this one. It smells like kombucha. Like, it's done. It. I actually maybe should throw this away. I feel like I've broken out from using this one before. I'm actually, I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna just be done. But the other one, I can totally finish this up. I love this product. It's my Kosas Airbrow. This would be a repurchase for me, but I do not think I'm going to have myself repurchase it in 2023. I'm only allowing myself like a handful of products that I can repurchase. We'll see. Like if I finish this one, maybe I just focus on finishing up my e.l.f. brow lift as well. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see what I end up doing, but I would love to also finish up my Kosas Airbrow. I'm wearing this product through my brows today. They don't even sell this product anymore. This is the Pacifica Highest Def Hemp Fiber Brow Set and it was a little bit dry and actually what I did to kind of get some moisture back in this product is I added a drop or two of eye drops and you can do that with your mascara as well i've actually used like contact solution for that just if the formula has dried up a little bit you can do that to kind of get the formula to be a little bit wet again that's just a little trick it kind of prolongs the mascaras and brow gels and all of that but i just did that to this product and it really worked i love how it looks in my brows today but I would love to see myself finish this one up too. And then I know that this is coming, my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I have actually no idea how much life is left in this. It's lasted me so, so long. This was a 2021 favorite and I 
and it's like my most used brow product ever and it's still going strong it's lasted me so long oh my god it has a shelf life of six months well i'm using it still but yeah i love this product i would love to see myself like finish this up completely in 2023 we'll see maybe it's still going to be holding on strong by the end of next year i use it all the time like i have actually no idea how much product is left in here but We'll see. I love it. I would love to see myself finish it. My Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I would love to be scraping the mascara clean because I just love it so much. We'll see. I always have a hard time actually finishing a mascara fully because I feel like mascaras go bad before you can even finish them. I don't know how people do project pans with mascaras. Maybe people don't. I wanted to include this one anyway just because I love it so much and I really want to see myself actually finish a mascara and I feel like it could be this mascara. This is my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Liner in On Point. It's so tiny and I would love to just use it up. Finish it up. I love a good pencil lip liner. This one's great. I love the color of it. But yeah, it would, it would be awesome to finally finish this up. I feel like I have a little bit less than half of this product left. It's my Milani Fruit Fetish Raspberry Peach Lip Oil. This is one of the products I keep in my bag and I use it all the time. I'm constantly reapplying it. I would love to see myself finish this up in 2023. It would be my first lip gloss. I don't think I would be anywhere near finishing this, but this is my Kosas Cloud Set. I think it would be awesome to at least pan it. So I really hope to do that in 2023. You can just see how much product I have left in this. This is totally doable for me. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I really enjoy this product. I just would love to see myself finish it. So I'm going to finish it this year, probably finish this up really quickly if I just focused on this product, but I have two other setting sprays I would like to finish, but these are the Urban Decay All Nighters. This is in the Ultra Matte one, and then this is the original one. I feel like you maybe could hear it though. Like, can't you hear that there's not a whole lot of product left in these? I can totally finish these up. I just need to put these kind of like on my desk and only grab the setting sprays until they are gone. So those are the makeup products I have intentions of either finishing up completely in 2023 or hitting pan on. I'm really excited for this journey. I'm sure I'll have to kind of figure out how I would like to update you all and do those project pan update videos. But considering I'm going on a no buy slash low buy in 2023, I really believe in myself. I know that finishing up the products I have intentions of finishing up is totally possible. I just really need to focus on it and do it. So the reason why I keep saying no buy slash low buy is because I am not going to buy any new makeup, any new makeup in 2023. I actually really want to unfollow every single makeup brand I follow on Instagram. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that maybe next week, but I am going to allow myself to repurchase these three products right here so if i finish my nyx lift and snatch i am going to be repurchasing this this is the brow product of my life it is the best brow pen i've ever tried it's the only brow pen that i truly love for the formula and the color just this particular brow pen has my whole heart if I finish it, I don't, I really have no idea how much product is left in here, but if I finish it, I will be allowing myself to repurchase it. Once I finish my Kosas Revealer Concealer, I also am going to allow myself to repurchase it. I do not want to live a day without it. I really love this concealer, especially the shade, the shade 4.5 Neutral. It's going to be my first concealer that I ever finish up fully. Actually, no, back in the day, I used to be able to finish up my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Love that concealer. Like, was obsessed with that concealer. I would actually have to repurchase that concealer, but they discontinued that formula. Urban Decay has made some questionable decisions throughout the years. I will be allowing myself to repurchase the Kosas Revealer Concealer. My boss actually gave me a $100 gift card to Sephora for the holidays. Super nice of her. I really love my boss. But I'm going to use my gift card to repurchase this eventually, whenever I end up finishing this. And then the other product I'm going to allow myself to repurchase is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. 
I just think that this is my holy grail mascara. Like, I feel like I finally found it. It's my holy, holy grail. And yeah, I can go my whole life without using another mascara, I feel like. So these are the three products I'm going to allow myself to repurchase in 2023. Otherwise, I am not buying makeup. I feel like another video that I would like to do is maybe like a makeup inventory because I do not plan on doing any declutters this year. I think I will get rid of some mascaras, like some old mascaras, just because like I don't need them in my collection because I know that they're expired and they'll like hurt my eyes if I put them on. But everything else I am not getting rid of. I want to take inventory of everything. And if there are products in 2023 that I just did not use, then I am going to allow myself to declutter them because again, like I said earlier, I would love to eventually create like my capsule makeup collection. I don't know if that means like I'll branch out still and try other new things after 2023. I have no idea. We'll just have to see how I'm feeling. I'm really excited to take on this new journey. I am really excited to not feel the pressure of like buying new makeup and putting that pressure on myself. And I'm really excited to just enjoy what I have again in my collection and Feel the joy of finishing something finally. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'm really excited for those of you who have chosen to go on this journey with me as well. Let me know if you plan on doing a no buy slash low buy in 2023 or if you have products that you are wanting to pan. That is going to be it for me today though. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully I will see you next time.